So I've been rewatching Arrow recently, and every time I finish a season, I wrinkle the episodes of that season from worst to best. In this video, I am going to be ranking all the episodes of Arrow season 4, but I will do it differently in this video. Instead of going from worst to best, I will go from best to worst, because normally seasons are like building up to the best episode. It's cool when you end the video talking about the best episode. This time around, the best episode is not a very good episode in the slightest. It's actually more mediocre than anything. So I I think it'll be better for me to build up to the worst episode of the season because then there's certainly a lot more to talk about because this is a terrible season. Anyway, with that in mind, let's start the ranking with the best episode of the season. What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about you and Damien Dark. You may look like your daughter, but she doesn't possess her soul. Sorry, baby, but your daughter. This episode is a sad excuse for the best episode of the season because it's okay. I do like certain scenes, like there's some great acting in this episode between Stephen Amell and Paul Blackthorne. The acting between them, the scenes between them, especially when Oliver confronted uh, Quentin about the fact that he's working with Damien, that was a genuinely great scene, probably the best scene of this season. But then there's other things like Eliza Warner is a pretty bad villain, the fact that she beat Oliver in a fight, and it seems like that was a legitimate fight, that definitely bothers me. The Sarah storyline I don't think is very good, and I think that it just suffers from the season 4 problems, too much felicity and elicity, and just too much drama, making this the best episode of the season. sister needs is a restoration of her soul to her body. What if something goes wrong? If things go wrong, then we'll all be too dead to care. On with the show. This episode is considered by some to be the only good episode of the season, or that one episode of the season that is actually good. However, I don't think it is. I think it's fine. This episode containing Constantine definitely helps it, and the flashbacks of this episode are a lot better than the pretty mediocre flashbacks of the rest of the episode because they contain Constantine, but Constantine is not exactly in the entirety of the episode, and also, I just really don't like the storyline of Sour coming back to life. I think she should not have ever done that. Again, it also suffers from the regular season 4 uh, Problems. We will. And the streets of your home will run red with the blood of our enemies. When this, you must kill me. Let's finish this. It's weird to say that this is the third best episode of the season because I really don't like it, and I always didn't like it. I really don't like the fact that Malcolm Merlin, uh, he was not only defeated by Oliver in like 10 seconds, but also his character is very much ruined, not because of this episode, but because of this whole storyline in season 3 and 4. He was redeemed by the fact that he was how cool he was in season 1, but also in Legends of Tomorrow season 2 and our season 5, but episodes like this one, he's a terrible character where he's beaten by Oliver so quickly. This episode does have some pretty good acting from John Merriman. The fight scenes, although they're short, at least some of them are, they're not terrible, making this episode one of the best episodes of the season, but still, I really don't like it. He's under Dark's influence, and we need to get him out. We are gonna take this guy down. Again, weird to say, one of the best episodes of the season, but this episode isn't terrible, and it is better than most episodes in this season. There are some pretty interesting scenes between Oliver and Damien. The Adam in this episode is pretty cool, and the flashbacks in this episode with Oliver whipping Conklin, definitely, I think, one of the better episodes in terms of the flashbacks, but overall, still not a very good episode. Definitely still suffers from the main problems that Arrow Season 4 does, which is true for basically every single episode, really every episode of this season, but including this one, not to mention that I don't really like the storyline with uh with Diggle and uh, Andy which is what the episode is named after You can't be the arrow he died so who are you You're about to find out after season 3, this was not a good comeback to the show, as with this episode, like in the rewatch, it was already the third worst episode of the show ever. This episode has a lot of elicity and felicity, and a lot of drama and terrible fight scenes that I really didn't like. Oliver getting his new costume is cool, but only in the moment, because in fight scenes in the entirety of the season, the costume does not look very good, with it just looks clunky and it, may, it looks very limiting on, on Stephen Amell or the stunt double, which is not the case at all for any other costume that the, that the Green Arrow or the Arrow or the Hood has ever worn, even after this when he gets the new sleeve, so that isn't exactly a plus, not to mention that Oliver going up against Damien Dark so early in the season is not a good idea, and it didn't end up being so, so this is not exactly what I would call a good episode.
Our season 4 has a lot of problems, but this episode kind of stands out as just being so boring. I don't think it has major problems that the rest of season 4 does have, which is why it's fairly high on this list, or fairly low on this particular list, because it's not, it doesn't have that much elicity or felicity or drama or terrible fight scenes, but it is so damn boring. Literally nothing happens in this episode, except for Oliver announcing that he's going to run for mayor that is of interest in the slightest, or at least, you know, he thinks about running for mayor. It's just the most boring episode of Arrow ever, which is why it's fairly terrible. It's not too far, so it looks like much, but they're lethal. This episode is bad, but not really for the reasons that our season 4 is typically, because I don't think Oliver and Felicity share a single scene together. It's the storyline with Felicity and Curtis and this double down villain that's really, really bad. But also the fact that they brought Sarah back to life in this episode, something that I think they should not have done. Yes, yeah, she had a good role in Legends of Tomorrow and with a much, a much different and much bigger character at that point. I still think she should never have returned, and it, maybe if she didn't, they wouldn't have killed Laurel. Either way, this episode is bad, and the only reason it isn't higher on this list, on this particular list, I mean, is because, well, every other episode we're gonna go over is just a little bit or way worse. How much time do we have? I need you to blow the thing up. Something's wrong, it's not working. This episode gets points for having Roy Harper, but not nearly enough. That's really the only reason it's not lower on the list or higher on this list. But this episode has so much hacking. This season has so much hacking. Like maybe the beginning of season six. It's really bad. That's not what I want to see, especially when it's being led by Felicity Smoke, going up against the calculator who ended up being her father. That part of this episode is terrible. Also, the flashbacks, not very good. The storyline with Nissa is fine, but not exactly great, making this a pretty bad episode overall, in spite of the fact that it does does have a pretty cool returning guest star in Roy Harper, aka Arsenal. For me, as long as they're alive, you have something to fight for. That is what I am taking away from you. <laughs> this episode does have something. Mm. This episode does have some good things about it, like Damien is pretty menacing in this episode, Oliver is probably at his most badass in this episode compared to the rest of the season, but at the same time, there's the uh, storyline with Donna and Felicity and the engagement ring, which is so difficult to watch, it's insane. And also the ending to that storyline, Oliver actually proposing to Felicity, pretty terrible, the fight scenes are not very good, and I think overall not a very good episode, even, or maybe not for the season, as it is a, kind of one of the better episodes of the season, but for the show, it's pretty terrible, except for the ending when all when Felicity did get shot, which I never believed she would die, just hope, but at the same time it is definitely fun to watch. Taken down. It's this one. Do not let all of the queen leave this building alive. We're speeding. Right behind us. This is another episode that I think is really, really boring. Like, there is some terrible moments, but the biggest problem is that it's boring. I think all the mayoral stuff in this season specifically, not the case in season 5, but in this season, it's really boring, like with episode 2. But there's even more in this episode that makes it so much higher on this list, like the storyline with Donna and Quentin. I just, I hate not only Donna, but all the storylines with her where she's complaining where Quentin is lying or somebody's lying. These people care way too much about lying. It's insane, it's crazy, and it's very annoying to watch. Not to mention that Curtis giving Felicity this chip that would magically cure her paralysis. It's the beginning of Curtis being a plot device to fix any injury, which he does constantly on the show. Basically, every single season he's in, he cures one incurable injury, and it's just really stupid, making this a terrible episode. To its end. Felicity is out of surgery. It didn't say what was wrong, but I don't think it's good. Now obviously this episode just has all the problems that our season 4 typically has, but it also has something more. When this originally came out, I remember especially hating this episode, maybe my second hate, most hated episode of the season, obviously after, well we'll get to that later in this review, in this uh, ranking, but this episode revealed that not only did Felicity not die from the mid-season finale, but she's, she's not the character in the grave either. I thought that maybe with her death the season could get better, because I really did not like the season at that point, but this just threw that all out the window 
Nintendo when they did that in this episode, making this episode a pretty bad one. Upon rewatch, knowing what's going to happen, it's not as terrible because I know what's going to happen, but still, I, I really don't like this episode, more so than every all the episodes we've gone over so far. It's a lot of player bar. It's the end of the world as I understand it. We lost one. It's in the air. There's not enough time to get everyone out. The last couple episodes of the season, like episodes 19 to 23, are kind of a blur to me even now because they are so forgettable and I'm only being able to talk about what happened in them because I'm only I'm looking through it now to find out what to talk about, but I didn't actually watch these episodes when they originally came out. I quit the show after Black Canary was killed off and only got back into it because the season 5 trailer rightfully looked really cool, but these episodes I completely skipped until a lot more recently where I did rewatch this show, like not this time, the last time I did, and I I watch these episodes for the first time, but this episode is, although not the worst of the ending, it's so bad. With all the hacking and uh, all the scenes with Thea and, uh, what's his name, uh, Anarchy and Tevat Noah, it's all really, really bad, making this a, again, really bad episode. To this city killing everyone that you hold dear. The fight continues. I will see you dead and buried beneath the bodies of your loved ones. I'm just curious, did you rehearse that speech? I thought maybe the... F I thought maybe the crossover would at least be exempt from the Arrow Season 4 curse that it affects every episode of this season, but that is not the case, as this episode has some of the worst Arrow Season 4-ness of the season, and the only reason it isn't higher is because it has some pretty awesome moments as well, like there's some cool uh, crossover moments, there's the fact that Barry runs through time or uh, travels through time while the cities are being destroyed, that is a genuinely awesome moment, but it is still fairly like middle of the list because of the Felicity thing in this episode. Also, not to mention Hawkman and Hawkgirl, not exactly very good characters, and Vandal Savage, not a very good villain. They are all three of them better than they are in Legends of Tomorrow Season 3, or 1, I mean, but not exactly good. But Oliver finding out that he has a son, William, and then Felicity being, like, the worst human being on the planet about it. Like, there's just there's this genocidal maniac going around, terrorizing all these people, but Felicity Smoke is a worse person in this episode as her reaction to William, or to Oliver not, or not telling her about William, even though he literally just found out about it like an hour ago and it was told that he can never see his son if he tells anybody about it eh, well that felicity's reaction makes her the literal worst human being on the planet like she is legitimately the devil in this moment it makes me feel like oliver is in this emotionally abusive relationship and that felicity is again a terrible human being so i hate this moment it's one of the worst felicity smoke moments of the of the season and of the show but the only reason this episode isn't higher on the list is because it does have some cool crossover moments I want to know that my son is safe. We need a new strategy. She's a hero in Detroit they call Vixen. Face us like a man. How about I kick your ass like a woman? This episode is so similar to Legends of Yesterday, it's insane. It's like the exact same episode where it's a crossover episode and even that part is worse because Vixen, not exactly as cool as The Flash and the rest of Team Flash, like nowhere near as cool, so already not as good. But then there's the rest of the episode which is like the exact same thing. Oliver, or uh, Felicity learns that Oliver has a son, William, and then he and then she breaks up with him in both these instances, this time calling off the engagement because he quote unquote doesn't trust her even it was pretty transparent that she just doesn't want the responsibility of a child at this point, which, I mean, Felicity is just terrible, but the fact that they recreated this god-awful scene from Legends of Yesterday with the exact same dialogue and the exact same outcome, it's pretty terrible. Don't get me wrong, I don't hate the fact that they broke up, but it's not that they, they didn't really break up to break up, they broke up for the drama, so I don't really care if they do either way, because again, they do get back together in the end. If they didn't, then I probably would like this moment quite a lot, or at least a lot more than I do. Mr. Dark is on his way. I'm supposed to prep you. Like I said, the last couple episodes of the season are kind of a blur, and this episode is no exception, as there's a lot of things that happen in this episode that I just don't remember. They're just so forgettable, but also the things I do remember, I really don't like. The storyline with Thea and Alex, it's fine. It's not great. It's not exactly good. It's just fine. But the fact that Oliver gets magical powers in this episode, and that's how he ends up defeating Damien Dark, I absolutely hate that. It's the worst thing ever that Oliver gets magical powers. Well, maybe not the worst thing ever, 
Oliver, not in this season at least, but I hate the fact that Oliver Queen, a character who's supposed to just go based off his powerlessness like Batman, actually gets abilities in a normal universe. This isn't, a, this isn't like an alternate universe or something where he would get other powers. This is a normal universe and he has magical powers. I absolutely hate that. Also, uh, Don Diggle killing his brother. Again, really don't like the storyline overall and in this this episode is no exception. The system's overloaded with too many requests. The last thing you need in the life or limb situation is me. Let's see what's going on. This episode sucks. It's terrible. The storyline of Felicity, hallucinating goth Felicity, not only did not need to exist, like it literally does nothing for nobody. It's terrible. It's so hard to watch, but also the fight scenes aren't very good. There's a lot of terrible moments, but the fact that Amanda Waller was killed, and it probably wasn't their decision. I don't know if it was or not, but it was probably because of Warner Brothers and the Suicide Squad bullshit, but at least, at least Deadshot got a good death. Like at least he went out sacri sacrificing himself to save some people, redeeming himself and everybody eyes like literally everybody amantha waller just stood there took a bill to the head and died right after she said that she would let everybody die instead of give up information obviously making her feel like a bad person when she dies which is the exact opposite of what they did for deadshot and this is just not how you kill off a recurring character who's been on the show for two seasons especially when she's actually been on the show for a lot longer than that she's been on the show for six years ever since the th season three flashbacks where she had a very big role so you know that amount of seasons two seasons but in terms of the timeline she's been in oliver's life for six years and that is just not how you kill a character like that off even when Warner brothers makes you do it overall i hate this episode so much like looking for a needle in a city of asex so he sent this message that was intercepted by whoever is holding him captive oh no now, the Ray Palmer stuff in this episode is fine, like, hey, you know, it's fine breaking him back, setting him up for Legends of Tomorrow, whatever. But the reason I hate this episode so much is, obviously, with, it goes without saying, it's the Felicity Smoke stuff, but also Donna Smoke. Donna's, she's the worst character, even worse than Felicity, if that was possible in this season. But her and Felicity being in the scene together, with Oliver there, completely ruining Oliver's character in any of those scenes, these scenes are just so unwatchable, they're so difficult to to watch and Felicity is so annoying, Donna's so annoying, hell even Oliver's annoying in this episode. I hate everything that's going on in this episode, like legitimately everything. I forget who you are and we can never become them. I don't know who I am anymore. Get out! This episode is just so bad, it's so terrible. What they did here with killing Laurel, I'm going to talk about it more when we get to 1159, but this episode does confirm that Laurel is dead. In 1159, maybe there was some hope after Laurel tells Oliver something, promise, uh, makes Oliver promise her something, and then literally a second later she does die. There was maybe some hope that that was a ruse or they were faking it, but no, this episode confirms that there's no two ways about it, she is dead. Evelyn's also terrible, and the Quinton Lance storyline is just too sad. Like, I don't understand why they did this to him what were they thinking there were so many reasons not to kill Laurel off one of those was Quentin Lance he already went through hundred percent of his daughters dying one of his daughters died twice and now a third one so that's hundred and fifty percent of his daughters have died and one of them is still alive so that's another one who's going to eventually die so I, I just I don't understand why they did this to him it's legitimately like the saddest thing ever and not in a good way it's just you know in a bad way type of sad so that was one huge reason not to kill off Laurel, and obviously I'll go over the other one when I review 1159, or rather rant about 1159, but this episode again is really, really bad. <clears throat> Finding their targets. It won't just be me who's gonna stop you. You brought friends, so did I. <laughs> The finale of the, of the season is the lowest rated episode of Arrow ever, which is understandable because this episode is really, it re represents the season more than anything as it's the finale, it is the finale. Again, this is an episode that I did not watch originally when it came out, but it's not exactly a blur as there is a lot to remember. The speech from Oliver is fine. I don't think it's amazing or terrible, it is fine. But this episode is just so boring for a finale. Like the other finales, hell, even the season three finale had something cool about it, but this episode 
episode has nothing, it's really just a fight between a bunch of people, a bunch of random nameless people, and then also between Oliver and Damien, which is a terrible fight. I say this so many times, but this fight is like the worst fight that Arrow has ever done, where it's just these two highly trained individuals, Damien Dark trained by the League of Assassins, Oliver Queen trained by a lot of different mentors like Slade Wilson, Yao Fei, even Malcolm Merlin, and Talia Al Ghul, as we learn later, but then they just punch each other, they literally just take turns punching each other, it's the worst choreography I have ever seen, and I despise it, not to mention that after all these characters leave, after this entire season, Felicity is the only character who sticks around, which, don't get me wrong, ended up being fine in season 5, but when this originally came out, and I watched this episode, actually, I think I watched this episode, but I didn't watch the episodes leading up to it, when it originally came out, but this episode, the ending was terrible, I think this finale has got to be the worst finale that Arrow has ever done, but not quite the worst of this season, which is so damn telling. I'll hold him off. Go find Thea. Good eyes on Thea. Are you right? Move, and I will kill you. I hate this episode even more than I hate the finale, as in this episode, like 90% of it is smoke family drama and a bunch of people sitting around looking at a computer and typing. It's so boring, but also the folks, the, uh, the smoke family drama is not boring, it's legitimately unwatchable and terrible. Not to mention that the storyline with Spartan and Green Arrow going around uh, Tevat Noah, it's really boring, like I said. So, this episode, again, one of the worst of the season and definitely terrible terrible episode. Tick tock. The bees tick inside you will replicate it itself. Uh, Cut it out! Tick tock. Tick. We have a much bigger problem. Talk. What the hell is going on here? What is this episode? Like, there are some episodes in the season where I get what they were doing, like maybe they thought it could end up well, but this episode, it's just, it's like a giant B pun, like every other piece of dialogue has a B pun in it, not to mention that the fight, uh, the fight scenes are god awful, like probably the worst fight scenes in any episode of Arrow, which is obviously all, the, all the bad fight scenes are from this season, but this episode is probably the worst of the fight scenes. Brie Larvin's Lar Lar a terrible villain, a lot worse than she was in The Flash, the fact that this episode focuses on mainly Felicity, Donna, and uh, Thea is there too, but that doesn't really that doesn't really uh, bring anything down. It's really the fact that it focuses on Felicity and Donna that absolutely makes this episode way way worse. Oliver's storyline this episode, her, his whole thing with Felicity, it's so terrible. And Damian Dark escaping prison or that whole storyline, it's fine but not exactly good. This episode just baffles my mind. Like, what the hell were they thinking? But it's again not even then a 3.4 out of 10. Not the worst of the episode. But I'm not even the second worst. Going ahead with Genesis, but not with you. Till death do us part. Felicity convinced me that we could save the city and not surrender to the darkness. So before we go to the episode after Beacon of Hope, let's go to the episode before it. Yeah, the three worst episodes of the season are all connected to each other. Anyway, this episode is unwatchable. This episode is everything wrong with Arrow Season 4, compacted into one single episode, focusing on Felicity and Elicity, terrible fight scenes, terrible villains, terrible dialogue. It's all just so bad in this episode, but it's all compacted. It's like every single scene is that like every other episode, and I mean that literally every other episode has some good scenes, but this episode, it, it just has nothing. It's just a terrible episode with nothing but terribleness. The only couple points it gets is for, honestly, I don't even know. I just, I can't give it a zero out of 10 because then it would it would be better or it would be worse than the next episode we're going to go over. But I think that it's, it's it, it, 3.2 is, I guess, what it deserves as episodes like this. It just baffles my mind that they exist. You will never beat me. Johnny thinks I'm a traitor. I know exactly what that Kevlar won't protect. Count of death, 11.59. So this episode kind of looked like it could be a step up for the season. The directing was pretty good. There was some a lot of there's like a lot of tense moments. And Oliver investigating Andy was honestly not bad. Not to mention that Felicity was nowhere to be found. But then Damien Dark stabs Laurel and she ends up dying. Felicity reappears and the quality completely plummets from who knows, maybe this could be a good episode too. Alright, I forgot I'm watching Arrow Season 4. That, that happens when Felicity shows up, but then Laurel dies, which is why this episode is as bad as it is, or at least as high on this list 
list at it as it is at number one because this episode is pretty good honestly it's a lot of, it's got a lot of great moments a lot of great acting and the motion is in this episode is top notch and Laurel's death is incredibly emotional as well but there's the fact that Laurel's death is not a thing that should have ever happened especially at this point like maybe maybe near the end of a show of the of a Green Arrow show maybe you could kill off Black Canary but even then it would be a stretch but four seasons in literally like not even two years after she became the Black Canary she is just straight up killed off in a terrible season it's the worst thing they've ever done not only because she's an integral part to the Green Arrow uh, mythos and universe and she should never have been killed off but also because of what I mentioned earlier to do with Quentin Lance just the fact that she already, he already lost 100% of his daughters like he's seen two out of two of his, of his daughters die and now you kill a third one so three out of two of his, of his daughters have now died uh, because Sarah died twice it basically made Laurel immune to death not to mention that she's the black canary so both of those things should have made her immune to death on the show and yet they kill her off not only that but there's a third reason why they should not have killed her off and that's because the character has grown so much from a very very different character in season one not bad but very different to a again way way different character in season two very damaged not exactly the character we would see now but then in season three and four she started to become the black canary she started to become a more complete character and by the end of season four she was a much much better character and a complete one at that and a pretty cool black canary but then she dies. Not only that, but she dies in like the worst way possible. Not as bad as Amanda Waller, but still pretty terrible. It's not like she sacrifices herself or something like that. She dies because Quentin went against Damien Dark's wishes. So it was all about Quentin, why she died really. And that's, it's terrible. It's such a stupid way to kill off the character. Not only that, but she dies minutes before or minutes after saying that she's still in love with Oliver. And you could tell Oliver feels the same way. And, and they said that she's fine. So that could have definitely gone somewhere. But she also died shipping. Elicity, which is, it's it's such an insult to fans of Black Canary, the relationship between Green Arrow and Black Canary, the comics, the characters of Black Canary and the Green Arrow, but also people who don't like Elicity and Arrow Season 4, which obviously I'm one of those people, which is why I absolutely despise this episode, and the only reason it isn't a 0 out of 10 is because, like I said, it does technically have some, some good moments, good emotional moments, but I don't think it's enough to get it any higher than what it has here, which is a 2.6 out of of 10. So anyway, you know, this is a very long video, but I had a lot of ranting to do. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about each one of these episodes and what is your favorite or least favorite episode of the season. And definitely stay tuned for my ranking of Arrow Season 5, which is going to be a hell of a lot more positive. As always, thanks for watching. <laughs>